shall reflect on the life of Saint Sabinus and companions. Legends abound claiming Saint Sabinus as bishop by several cities of Italy, including Assisi. When the Diocletian persecution broke out, many of his clergy, besides Sabinus himself, were arrested and when brought before Venustian, governor of Etruria, commanded to worship a small statue of Jupiter that was placed before them. The bishop, however, contemptuously threw it to the ground and thereby it broke. Furious, the governor ordered the saint's hands to be chopped off. His two deacons, too, made a bold confession of faith. As a result, they were scourged and racked, under which torments they both died and were buried at Assisi. While he was in prison, a widow named Serena brought her blind son to Sabinus, who, by means of blessing him, restored his sight. Thereupon, a number of his fellow prisoners sought and received baptism. This, in turn, aroused the curiosity of the governor, who sent for Sabinus again. When the saintly bishop cured the governor of an eye affliction, he and his entire family got converted to the faith. The enraged Diocletian, however, had Sabinus, together with the governor Venustian and his whole family, beaten to death.